there. Bogard is in the ideal position, but watch out for this late burst from Axel Merckx. He will not give up himself either. Kassar is still in first position. Bogard is looking very nervous. You can almost feel the twitching. He's waiting for the moment to start the sprint. I don't think he's going to be denied here this afternoon. 300 metres to go to the line, and now it is the Francais de Girard. How he's, heck, how he's kept that uh, two or three metre advantage. This could be advantage Merckx or Lefebvre. Because if you take a look at Bogart, he's not going to start the sprint till the last minute. And now he's got to go because Sandy Gassar thinks they're not going to catch him. If he gets away with this, he was the carrot right in front of them. Now they're ripping for the line now. And still Sandy Gassar is trying to go. Axel Merckx is fading away. Gassar has got a terrific win. And they've only themselves to blame. That was a fabulous finish by Sandy Gassar. The man who fell off, the injured man of the breakaway, is the stage winner of the Tour de France. Well, he did the superb move there. He waited. He was at the front. He always had one or two metres advantage. He waited until the last possible moment because everybody was tired. Nobody could go for the long sprint here, and his kick gave him about five bicycle lengths over Michael Bogard. Michael Bogard has never been the great sprinter. Axel Merckx accelerates up through the minute, up through the middle there, Phil, but basically that was just a question of survival. 